Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric here. Second part of this video. For the shaper, um, it didn't have a tag on the machine, what it was called, as far as how many amps that it was calling out for. But it did have a model number to 2700. And then I went to the book, and I made sure the book said it was the same model number of a Powermatic sh shaper. And then right here, it says a 3 horsepower, 5 horsepower, 240 volt. So I went to the code book just to check it. And I came up with about 40 amps on this. Um, so to be safe, I ran a 6-gauge cord on it. Um, I couldn't find any 8-gauge, and I just figured I'll step it up one size. I was able to do this right here. I had to drill out their little box right here. And I had to use a 1-inch. Um, and I had enough space so I can land my screw to tighten up my cover. Right here, it came as a 6.4 because that's all the fact the many, um, excuse me, my wholesaler had. And then I have my red to their red. See, their red is like a 10 gauge, but it doesn't matter. I still need to protect my side because that's what I have to put in versus what they're putting in. Um, and that's manufacturer spec for what they think. These are a Polaris uh, rubber Ilsco lug or two port inside this little connection right here. They actually have. A set screw and um, basically we just tape that up with some black tape and red tape neck to neck to be safe get those in there and then this I'm gonna get a lug once my partner comes back and I get this off my truck but I'm gonna land a lug right there taped off the white I don't need it in here electrician had already ran a 6-2 with the ground so I'll go ahead and I already did the pullers in there I'll label it here as a sticker um they sent us your normal red wire caps i do not suggest doing that um, unless you want to own a really expensive machine within six months to a year uh, that machine's going to vibrate these little suckers off and in anything they're going to heat up so throw those away or use them on your lighting fixtures um, other than that here is kind of that setup so you're seeing that I'll put in a 40 amp breaker on that, max load and opacity. Make sure that, yeah, that wire is a six gauge going into their machine. I could have done an, uh, an eight and gotten away with it because it actually allows a little more opacity in the code book. But again, it's what my man or wholesaler had, so I just wanted to keep it simple for myself. I pre-cut this in the field and stripped it off. On this guy, the joiner already had its cord. And it's got that uh, Chinese looking plug. Okay. That's going to be 240 volt. And that stab on it is going to have a stab sideways. But this one is the one that allows it never to be a 120. Okay. We plug that in. Boom. I'll label that as well, our 240. So this had its cord already manufactured. We just had to plug it in and check the opacity. I'll get back to you soon.